Hi, and welcome to Kelly's Health and Fitness Show. Once again, we're joined by the sexy model, Carmen. How is it going, Carmen? It's going great. I'm sexy and you know it. You know why? Because I work out. Yeah, we're going to work out today. This Thank part. <laughs> Thank her for joining us. As you can see, she's exactly right. Today, we're going to be working out the abs. Um, part of the most difficult part to work out and to keep in shape is the abs. But today we're gonna to show you a few techniques to keep the abs in shape constantly. Now, one of the things I must mention is that it does take time to work out the abs. So what I am gonna show you, it's a bit short, but it should be done probably about 15 to 20 minutes a day, a variety of these exercises. Now they're simple, not difficult. So we're gonna be using the, the bench. We're gonna be starting out by doing basic crunches. Um, then we're going to change things around a bit. What I like to do is to add a little twist to it. So why don't I get started. Now we're going to be doing a switch. I'll be doing it and Carmen will be demonstrating it for the ladies. I'll let you see that it's not very, very difficult. You and your partner can do them together. So if you have a bench or even on a flat, if you have a pad, you simply lay flat. Don't worry if your head don't touch. You actually need the resistance. And then hand behind the head. Now I know what you're thinking. They say, do not put the hand behind the head. Now what you're doing is you're not grabbing and pulling. You're simply putting the hands for resistance. So here's what you do. You come up, simple abs. Now, what you need to do as you do the abs is you want to breathe out. So if you come out, so that way you can get the best crunch possible. And if you keep going, you want to keep going until you feel that tight pain then you take the break. And then what happens is you go again until you feel a tight pain, then you take the break. Three or four sets, and then you can switch them around. Now, if you want to take a look, we'll have Carmen um, get on the bench and do a bit of um, the abs. The same position. Um, legs up. We'll have your legs right here, Carmen. Okay. Second, legs rest, and hands behind your head. Now she's not going to pull, just the hand behind the head for resistance, and then she's just going to crunch up, and she's going to breathe out as she crunch, breathe out totally as she crunch. There you go. Just like that. So that's it, ladies. And you keep going until you feel that tight pain in the ab. Now sometimes you may, if for example, you've seen people pull down the legs and then their partner comes straight up. It's not really necessary, it's your choice to do, but um, sometimes you need to be careful. Um, it's been said that you can have back injury from coming straight up. Besides, most of the ab workout is from right here. So thanks for demonstrating for us, Carmen. All right. So that's one time. Now you do that, a set, until you feel the pain right there, then we're gonna switch to another time. This is a little bit harder with a little ingenuity. Same thing, you got your bench, Oh, you're laying flat on the ground? Now, what you're gonna do is, whereas when Carmen had her foot resting on the bench, this time, you're gonna have your foot just hanging. Now, you're gonna elevate your foot just slightly so that you can feel the tension in your abs. And then the same thing, nothing new, hand behind the head, you're not pulling, but simply just crunching. Now, you will feel it a bit more difficult because now you're supporting the legs in the air and at the same time you're doing your crunches. And it's the same thing, you're breathing out, full crunch, and you continue until you feel that tension or that, that slight pain in the stomach or at least until your legs give out. And then you just break, nothing wrong. Do you break, stand up a bit, and then you go into your other step. We'll have Carmen demonstrate it for the ladies. So Carmen, you just lay flat. And we'll have your legs straight out. So as you can see, her legs are slightly up, not very high. And hands behind the head, she's not going to pull, but she's just going to do a nice crunch. Now, it's quite difficult, so you may not be able to do that much at first, but it's fine. Just keep going until you give out, and then you go again. We'll have her get started. Okay, Carmen, go ahead. That's it. Just breathe full out as you go, completely. And you begin to feel it. You feel the stress in your legs. You also feel the stress in your abs. 
Over time, your legs will, will, will begin to build muscle, and then you'll be able to do more. But that's the idea. That's the second time. You want to do a bit of variety. I think you should begin to feel it. <laughs> okay? All right. So that's, <laughs> so that's the second time. Okay? So you'll do the first that we showed you, three sets. You do the second time, three sets. And now here's the third time. Now, the position is similar. And the idea is still the same. We get our bench, or we're laying flat on the ground, we'll lay flat, hand behind the head, once again, we're not pulling, and legs slightly raised so you can feel the tension or pressure in the end. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the leg to do like a scissor motion. This you've seen before. Now, while doing the scissor motion, we're gonna do a right-left motion with our upper body. The same crunches, so we'll go crunch, continue with our scissor motion. Now you can do the same leg or you can switch. I'm going to be doing the same leg for demonstration. Crunch, breathe out fully, continue, crunch, you're breathing out fully, You begin to feel the tension in the legs, and you also feel it right in the abs area. You go until you have to stop. That's fine. You stop. That's a set. Break. Then you do another set. You continue doing at least three sets, more if possible. Left arm and demonstrate it for the ladies. You're going to lay flat. She'll do the same thing as you can see. Her legs are slightly raised, so create the tension in the abs area and hands behind the head. She won't be pulling, but just to add stress. And there you go. Bit of a scissor motion with the legs. And now, oh, there you go. You hear her? <laughs> it's a bit difficult. <laughs> there you go. And, and, and she continues with her crunches, breathing out fully as you go. So the idea is that you're working the abs and you're including the lower abs as well with the legs as they go, switch, switch. But it creates a more difficult ab workout, but at the same time, you help produce excellent abs. Now, how long should you do this? Well, the goal is to interchange them. I like to interchange them. I'll do a regular ab workout, then I'll do another type, and I go for about 15, 20 minutes a day. Unfortunately, with the ab, you have to stay on it. Um, we were talking earlier before that Carmen does, she works out and she does the abs whenever she works out. I think you said you work about three times a day? I mean uh, three times a week, a week. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, and each time you do your ab workout. I always do my ab workout. Right. You. And I was asking him how he has all these muscles in his abs. <laughs> and, and that's basically it. You know, that's what it is. It has to be consistent. And this is what I do. Um, crunches and you change the type of the crunch or style of the crunch with your legs. You pick up the legs or you do a slight scissor motion. Now there is a third type that we'd like to do. Now you've seen this before and we, in doing this we kind of put everything together. It's the crunches but at the same time it's like a bicycle motion and your legs are still elevated. They don't touch the bench. It's actually a bit difficult, but as you begin to develop the muscle in the legs, it begins to get, I'd say, somewhat easier. So, here's the approach. We'll do the same thing. You get your bench or your pad. You lay flat. Your legs the same, slightly raised, and hands behind the head. Now you're gonna bring your knee forward to join your elbow, and the same. The other, knee forward, join the elbow. So it's everything together with the, like a bicycle-like motion. And as your leg goes down, you do not lay it flat. You still keep it raised. So you always have this bit of a tension in your leg as you go. And you continue, breathing out fully as you go. You always keep a tight crunch, because that's what gives you that, that, that um, the ab-like building and separation. So you need to get a tight crunch, and then you continue until you have to stop. You feel the pain inside, or you 
legs will probably give out. Whichever way, you take a break, get up, stand a bit if you need to, and then when you're ready, you go right into the other type or the same type. You want to do at least three or more. We'll have Carmen demonstrate for the ladies. Here we go. Okay. These are not easy. <laughs> so here it is, and she's correct. They're a little difficult. So as you can see, she has a slight, her legs slightly risen to create tension right in the abs. And now she's going to begin by bicycle light -like motion and bicycle light -like motion. Now the, the, the deal is when the leg lands, she does not bring it to total rest. It's still slightly raised. And that's what gives that pressure and makes it a little bit more difficult, which is what you want to produce the result that you're looking for. And you go until you need to break. It doesn't have to be five, it doesn't have to be six. There is no number. You go until you feel the tension or, or that, 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 that pain in the abs or until your legs give out and then you break and it's fine. You simply get up, you break, you take a break. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> she went until she had to take that break. And you take the break and stand up, and then you go right into either another set. The goal is to do at least three sets of each type. If you can do more, great. You can go right into the same set again, or you can switch it up, go into a different set. Now, truth be told, if you do have fat in this area, you do need to do some type of cardio. <laughs> Carmen thinks she has. But give her a little time before you know it, she'll be right where she needs to be. And uh, as I was saying before, with a little cardio, you may need to do some to burn the fat in the area. But in addition to that, the abs workout is necessary to tighten the abs and pull in the abs. So thank you so much for joining us, Carmen. I'm happy to be here. And thank you guys for thank watching. Thank you. Uh, I'm Kelly, and you're watching the Kelly's Exercise and Fitness Show. And we're joined today by the sexy model, Carmen. And please, come again. Until next time.